dear friends. I'm so happy you are watching this video with me. In this video, I want to elaborate uh, further to a blog post I already wrote on my website um, about the forecast of the year 2020, which is starting really, really soon. Um, you can find the link to the blog post um, below the video in the description. Um, and here I want to elaborate a little bit more. Of course, I'm going to repeat some of the things that I already wrote about in the blog post, but here I can speak a bit more freely um, and therefore give some extra details and some extra juice about what's to come, what we should expect in 2020, what's the general atmosphere in the year. Um, and usually when I'm talking about forecasts, I'm talking about the general energies that govern us as a collective. I'm not uh, talking about specific events. Um, but I'm talking about more like the energy that's going to be working in and through us and how it's going to affect our personal lives, our collective lives, the way we make decisions, the way we um, feel about ourselves, the way we approach life, um, and so on. So let us jump right into the water. As you can see, uh, I wrote here already a few more a few um, uh, details which I'm going to kind of uh, talk about. I want to apologize beforehand about the fact that you see here the reflection of uh, the lighting, but that's the price I have to pay for having a whiteboard and so that you can see me well enough. Okay, having said that, let us jump into the water. Um, 2020, <clears throat> you know, for me, I, I think as a numerologist, I've always been uh, having this very positive, uh, view of 2020, and I'll start by saying why. Um, if you go and read in my blog posts, um, the, the forecast I think about 2019, I explained why um, until the 2000s, we've been governed by the energy of one, which means we've always had 19 something, or the, the year 1642, or whatever year, the number one was always leading which means that the masculine element was super strong, super dominant in humanity. And as we all know that, I mean, we know that the masculine energy has been governing for a very long time, and it's been the leading, leading element both in, um, you know, men and women. That's the way we kind of perceive the world and work through the world. Um, being utilitarian, goal-oriented, um, power-oriented, and so on. But since we shifted into the 2000s, we have shifted into the leading number two. And the two is all about, it, it's 100% it's 180, uh, 180 degrees um, switch from number one. It's a complete polar opposite. It's the feminine element. It's all about sensitivity, care, teamwork, cooperation, intuition, uh, gentleness, right? So moving from more from an emotional place. Um, caring about the other, more humane in that sense. And we already know that in the 2000s, I mean, there's been a booming of, of, of spirituality, of meditation, of yoga in every place, um, of alternative medicine entering, you know, the, um, uh, the, the system, the actual medical care system. Uh, doctors are, uh, 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 prescribing meditation, Tai Chi, or stuff like that for, for patients. It's become like pretty much of a common thing. Um, lots of research about meditation and its um, benefits, the benefits of compassion, etc., etc. This is really a leading number, too. Um, but the amazing thing about 2020 is that we have twice the leading number, too. I mean, think about it. This is going to be the leading number for the next 1,000 years. This is going to be leading for the next 10 years. We're going to have a two. We have a strong leading two energy. And that's the first thing I want to talk about. As we enter the 2020s, we enter an even more accentuated feminine energy. When I say feminine, please, guys, I'm not talking about women or men. Both women and men have both masculine and feminine energies. I'm talking about a universal force, a certain uh, universal current that is we can call the feminine. Okay? We can also use another word, but that's where we all know. So there's an extra emphasis on becoming even more sensitive. And now why I'm even more excited about this specifically in 2020, because next to each two, we have a zero. A zero usually heightens the vibration of the number next to it, the number to its left. And here we have a 20 and a 20. Two times zero next to a two. Specifically, we're entering in 2020 in a very um, intensified two vibration. 
a heightened two vibration, a more spiritualized two vibration, a more subtle two vibration. So in a way, generally speaking, as we're entering this next decade, we should expect um, even further, um, on the one hand, a deepening of our own sensitivity to what's going on. Okay, we become super sensitive already since the 2000s to what's going on in our world through the media, right, and through social network. We, we are knowing like what's happening everywhere uh, 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 globally. We're aware of the most terrible things that are happening. We're aware of the most amazing things happening, but we're aware. And that's part of the two. We become like without um, shields anymore. That's part of the two, okay? The shields are taken off and we can really sense everything. It's like almost having no skin. Everything is open. So, right, uh, the positive side is simply that we cannot hide from the rest of the world. We start to see that we are all interconnected. You and me. That's two. When we're only one, it's only me. But when there's two, it's you and me. So I always sense what's happening with the other. Right? So in 2020, we have that even more accentuated. Um... So we have this kind of vibration that um, allows us to sense what's going on um, and it will be even deepened uh, throughout the 2020s. We're going to be able to, um, we're going to be, we're going to feel like it really touches us and we cannot like hide away from what's happening. And the, the interesting thing is that the two is also a naturally caring energy. It's an intimate energy and it means that we're going to feel that more and more that what's happening over there is also affecting me over here, right? We can see this already with uh, how people um, are more active nowadays uh, with regards to climate uh, change and to climate and environmental issues. I believe it's going to accelerate. I believe it's going to take an even a greater leap um, of intensity. So I think that people are going to care more, are going to be more involved, number two. Um, but... Um, you know, everything has its shadow side. Um, number two can also be oversensitive and, and sometimes over passive. Uh, that's the perhaps side of the a two energy that can be sometimes uh, hindering. So how much are we going to act? Uh, how much are we going to be decisive? How much are we going to be clear about the next steps? Uh, how much are we going to be grounded? Um, this is a question left to be discovered. Um, naturally, um, you know, there's a lot of mystery. Uh, it's not that as a numerologist I can really tell you what's going to happen. I can see the, the seasons of life. We can see the seasons that are working in us. And I can tell you the, the, the positives and negatives. So as I'm saying, the negative can be we're going to be maybe a bit more passive, not fully clear about what's the next steps, um, maybe having to question many things. Um, not having a clear idea what's the next step still, right? Because we had very clear systems with the number one, right? The financial system, the educational system, uh, the medical care system, etc., etc. But now with number two and double two here and the zeros next to it, I'm going to talk about the zeros in a moment, we're not necessarily clear about what's next. We might feel that things are kind of maybe need some kind of shift, some change, but we, we don't necessarily yet have all the answers. And that's even accentuated with the zero, because the zero is kind of like an open, an open end. Everything is possible. Now, this has that shadowy side I'm talking about, but it has also an amazing side. And here's what I want to talk about. Why I'm a bit more positive? I'm a bit more positive because the 2020 is leading us to a year number four. A universal year, number four. And number four is all about stability. Stability, foundation, solidity... Um, it means creating a certain vessel that works. Something that works and works for the long run. Okay, so we know that there are many, many changes worldwide. Um, I'm not so much, you know, the, the, the most uh, involved person in politics and so on. But we know that, you know, we're listening to politics worldwide and we're looking at the environment and uh, people especially who are listening to me and care about spirituality are also looking at spirituality and science and how they come together and how the systems will shift uh, for the benefit of humanity. And so I believe that two 
followed by a zero, followed by a two, followed by a zero, which means that there's a lot of, we're, we're really listening a lot, number two, we're really open very much with a zero. And again, repeatedly open, listening, open, listening. Why? In order to create a new kind of structure. We want to create a new kind of structure that works for all of us. We want to create a new kind of structure that gives us a foundation for the future. Now, it's a clean four. It's not a 13 four. A 13 would be a karmic four. It's not any kind of uh, other four. A, 13, a, a 31 four or a 22. It's a four. Clean and clear, stable. When you have just like a clean number like this, just four. There's something super steady about it. Um, and in that sense, I believe that there is something positive. We want to create more stability. Um, again, I want to also point out the downsides. I don't want to be this kind of like uh, new agey, uh, woo-woo-ish kind of person that to tell you only like nice things because life is complex. Four can also be a bit conservative. Four can be also holding on to the known. So if we're not arriving to clear decisions, as I said before, two and zero, too much questioning, we might also hold on to the known. We might also not move ahead. And that's also a little bit of danger in 2020, okay? We might not move yet ahead. That can be a shadow side, but here's again the positive side. We might not move ahead yet because we are planning something. Two is also the energy of pregnancy and also zero. I'm being impregnated with something. I'm, I'm becoming pregnant with something, maybe a better plan, maybe a better strategy, so that in the future, I can implement it. But now I need to kind of become pregnant with it. And that's perhaps what's happening here in 2020. So that eventually, as the year progresses, I can have a solid and clear strategy for the future, number four. And that's, again, I'm describing something that is both personal and universal, okay? This frequency I'm describing to you, this kind of um, uh, progression of energy that I'm describing is going to be universal to all of us, all of humanity. We see here, if we look at another way of looking at this year, we can see January 1st, 2020, if we add all these numbers together, we have a 6. A 6, again, is a um, very stable number. It's about harmony. It's not about shattering any uh, um, framework. It's not about rebelling against anything, as well as 4 is not rebelling against anything. So we see here a strong frequency of the number 2, of the number 4, of the number 6, and of the number 0, all of which are numbers that are not, not rebellious, they're more passive, uh, they're more um, conforming. So I believe that on the one hand, we're not, we might have arrived to a point in 2020 where we're seeing, okay, we're standing on a very delicate point between the past and the future. And we simply have to make wise decisions as to what's going to happen from here onwards. And because we have to decide what's going to happen from here onwards, we have to be super attentive. We have to choose our steps very carefully for the future. And I'm meaning, again, I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about politics. I'm talking about finances. I'm talking about healthcare. I'm talking about the way we approach the, 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 uh, our, our lives and job market and relationships, etc., etc. And so as we reevaluate the whole way we're moving about things in life and we're becoming much more aware to everything and also more sensitive to everything, we're also questioning everything and we want to find something that really works. And it might take a little bit of time. And because of that, we're not rushing to do anything. Um, and in, in that sense, it can be pretty healthy. We just need to, to make sure we're not, um, we're, we're not, uh, how do I say, like standing in the same spot this year. We have pretty harmonious energies, two, zero, four, and six. Together, they're pretty harmonious. Um, this means that we have the possibility of being in a rather quiet and harmonious place during 2020. It might also mean that if we're not um, using these energies correctly, we may be a bit more holding on to the past and to what we already know, not moving forward. Again, the danger of 2020, the danger of two, four, and six together, very conventional energy sometimes. But if we do 
if we do move correctly, consciously through these energies, if we do allow ourselves to open up to sensitivity and the inspiration from spirit, and again, open up to sensitivity, questioning and observation and care, care about everyone and inf inspiration from spirit, then the, the stability we're going to find, the structure we're going to find will be much more solid, stable and beneficial. The harmony and the emotional connection we're going to find through number six is going to be beneficial. Six is also a healing number, which means there's a potential to be more healed. Four and six together are a number of our, our connection of family. Maybe we're going to feel more like we want to become a human family. Okay, also the number two, two, four, six. Please understand, I'm not talking about any kind of grandiose movements because history always moves very slowly. It's not like we're going to see all of a sudden people becoming a family worldwide and everybody hugging each other, everything is healed and all the systems are all of a sudden transformed. No, but usually we see small but sometimes significant steps that we take. And there's something about the frequency that can bring us closer to these uh, subjects I'm, I'm talking about right now. Another element I want to talk about here is um, it's, it's the numerological matrix. This is how um, we call it in the human body method. In uh, Western numerology, it's usually referred to as the Pythagorean arrow method. Um, with all the different planes of existence. I'm not going to give you a numerology lesson right here, but I still want to uh, address um, this very, very important energetic chart here. What you see in this chart is, again, the two and the four are present here, okay? I'm not going to explain why again. Just accept it. That's how it is. And interestingly, the two and the four in this chart are also kind of an energetic anchors that tell us that this year what's going to be super present for us is that we're going to be in a place where we're going to search for what's really good for us, what's really doing good to us, what's really um, accurate, number four. What, what do we feel in our gut that's truly accurate and precise? It's like that place in us that tells us what is right. Are we going in, 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 the, in the right direction? And that's very good to see that four is present. We also have a double two, which means that we're also going to listen to what does really good to us. You know, it's like, you know, this, this tendency in, 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 in us human beings that sometimes we don't listen to what's good to us and we can sabotage our lives. We can drink too much, eat too much, enter uh, harmful relationships. That's when we're, we're not listening to ourselves. But here we are listening to ourselves. There's a two and a two, a double two in the numerological matrix. And so we are very much attentive to what's good to us. And again, interestingly, you see again, it's all around. It's two, four, two, four, six. Amazing. The numbers are repeating themselves. And so again, it's a sign for me that we're very cautious. We're attentive this year. As a numerologist, it gives me again another... Uh, it strengthens for me my own observation that this year we are going to listen deeper to what's good, to what really works. The thing is, and that's interesting to see, is that you have here many empty planes. All these two-sided arrows show us all the empty planes where energy, is, in a sense, is missing. This can also strengthen what I said before about the fact that we are undecided about things. Where are we going? The positive side is that we're super open. We're super open for inspiration from the beyond, from things that maybe haven't been done before. And also we're not super, um, how should I say it? We're not um, super predefined in the direction we're gonna go. And in that sense, we can be more sensitive. When we see like an empty plane, like this empty planes, it's like an energy flowing in a more subtle way. And perhaps more subtle at this point in time is more beneficial for us. The interesting thing is that this two diagonal planes are empty. And it's important because um, they create a kind of, as you can see, like an, a, a letter X. And um, it can mean that we feel still something is blocking us, but it also means we want to break through. 
And it's a kind of, it's, it's a pushing feeling. It's, it's like something is sitting and pushing and we want to break through certain barriers, certain shackles, certain things that don't allow our energy to flow freely. Uh, something that suffocates us. We want to break through and we want to really uh, live in a more whole and free way. And in that sense, um, the, the zero energy, um, here there's something called like the, the, um, the, the plane key, Never mind, I'm not going to uh, explain what it means, but both here and here, the zero energy is what's going to strengthen our ability to break through this and this into an open energetic flow. And as we already know, the zero is super present this year. So actually being in a place of receptivity, openness to spirit, openness to the beyond, openness to new opportunities, being with an open mind is actually going to help us really break through limitations this year. So I think I kind of covered what I wanted to share with you in this video. I think that if you read the blog post I wrote, it's going to kind of complement what I said here. Um, and if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment um, in my blog post. Um, then I'm going to be able to answer you in writing. Um, I hope this video leaves and gives you some food for thought and I really wish you a happy new year, a wonderful 2020, a wonderful new decade um, full of awareness, consciousness, sensitivity and growth.